Today, we are looking at the brand new Derrick Henry. You guys see him right there. Limited time, Derrick Henry is on the squad. And this card does actually get X-Factors. I'll pop his stats up on the screen right now. The X-Factor we're going with is Steamroller. If you look at the card, you're going to see that Steamroller is on him three different times. But it's actually pretty cool because you can change how you activate it. One of them is by getting two 10-yard carries. One of them is by, I think, getting two consecutive receptions, which honestly does sound... I probably should have picked that one, but I chose the touchdown one. I don't know if that was a good choice or not. We're starting off here on defense, though. You have to get a stop before seeing our LTD Derrick Henry take the field. But the steamroller ability, it kind of looks like an ability that's in college football, which is pretty much when you're at max speed, the incre you have an increased chance to break a tackle. I wonder if when this is lit up, it'll be as good as freight train. I don't think it's going to be. I really don't because I think it is an ability that is an X factor, which is kind of what they've been doing early game in Madden 25 here. Get to the outside, Buda Baker, one tackle, Buda. Oh, Buda can't tackle. Bang, hit stick. Okay, there we go. But yeah, Steamroller does look pretty interesting. So I'm excited to see what Derrick Henry can do today. We are just playing a normal game of head to head. We are in whichever the highest division is in head to head. So this should be a pretty good game. All the games I've played in this have been pretty sweaty. So hopefully we get a good one. All right, here we go. It is fourth and four. I'm curious to see what this guy decides to do when he decides to spread us out and try to die on us. I don't love this for us here because... Oh, right. Those, those are right at me. Those are right at Papui. Interception. And the boy comes marching out. Here we go. Derrick Henry's first snaps on the team. If you're looking to add a new quarterback to your team, head to my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest, most reliable muck coins on the market. Do not forget to use code for your checkout for 5% off. A link for their website is in the description. And right now, while recording this, I have no idea what Derrick Henry is going for. Uh, EA kind of forced... I had points in my account, and I wanted to get gameplays out. And the auction house being down, I couldn't buy any cards. I also couldn't do any sets. So I kind of had to spend my remaining points on the boom bundle. And I did pull Derrick Henry, luckily. So... I did get a little bit lucky, but right now the auction house is down. If you were having the problem earlier, if it's up now, I don't know what they're doing. Hopefully, they're fixing price caps. Hopefully. Let's go with a nice outside run here. Derek Henry, we got to see how he moves. Does he move better than Allstott does? Because I do know that he has kind of low... He's got low COD and some stats like that. So, I'm, I'm curious to see how he plays. But obviously, that weight's going to be really good. And if we can find the end zone for a touchdown... We're obviously going to like to have our uh, X Factor lit up. But Loki, the two consecutive targets out of the backfield one does seem a little bit easier to do. You just kind of, you know, throw the ball to him twice out of the backfield, which it could be any kind of gain. You know, even if it's a negative gain up the middle here, Derrick Henry. There we go, falling forward. He definitely doesn't feel as fast as Allstott, which makes sense. He is slower than Mike Allstott. But obviously, I'm just, just kind of just making some observations with both the power backs I've used so far this year. Here we go. We go with a nice kind of a trap run here and we get wrapped up. We're not really getting that open space yet. I think we're going to you know, actually this would have been really good for me because I run the RPO read swing. So it would have been really good if I had the, the one that activates with targets or what is it? Uh, yeah, I think it's successful receptions two in a row. Let's see what his user does. Is he going to get outside? He does not. Derrick Henry making his first look of space today. Can I get a stiff arm? Stiff arm Derrick Henry down the sideline. Derrick Henry down the sideline. And he should be able to air truck as well. By the way, the air truck is back. He can somewhat air truck. Touchdown for Derrick Henry. It is a receiving touchdown, but our X factors lit up. I'm not going to go for two here because now we're going to have steamroller for our next drive. Hopefully this guy stays, but we're trying to beat him. We're trying to beat him. We're trying to beat him from going forward in gameplays. My goal is just to win. I, I don't care. You know, we're just trying to win the game, I'm trying to get one full good game for you guys per gameplay. And, you know, usually I try to, you know, I'll, if I get an interception, I'll go down so I can use the card more. We're not doing that anymore. We're going for good games, trying to win uh with whatever card we're looking at and if you guys do catch me if you guys do catch me <laughs> trying to uh you know display a card or you know potentially putting myself in a losing scenario just to try out a new card comment it down below please call me out hold me accountable it's gonna be a tough habit for me to break is that I, you know recording gameplays for a while i always try to you know either overfeed a card which i guess first drop you they try to kind of overfeed him up the middle that's a good run sauce we get ideal timing hit stick i'm telling you though dude the boom sticks if you hit a boom stick I've probably caught, like, when I time it perfectly, I've caused more fumbles than when I have it. Like, the percentages are above 50 as far as boomsticks landed and fumbles that occur, especially on quarterbacks. Maybe on, like, running backs and things like that, it's a little bit more spotty, but even with, like, guys that don't have high hit power, I'm still forcing fumbles going crazy. Does he go five wide? Last time, his eyes were on Kyle Pitts. Will he, will he do it again? He wants the second one right here. And I have Ray Lewis in the game. 
Like, Ray Lewis is not supposed to be on the field right there. I'm not saying Papui picks that off, but I'm saying there's a good chance he does. And we're screwed here. This is going to be a stretch run, 100%. Papui get to the outside, make a tackle. And by the way, for today's video, I could have probably put on the strat card. I was going back and forth with myself if I wanted to put the strat card on or not. But there is a boom strat card that would give Derrick Henry plus 10 trucking as well as plus five break tackle. So the clips you're seeing in this one, this is not Derrick Henry with that strat card on. So no, just know whatever you see today, this card can get better. And that strat card does expire on August 29th. But just having a 97 trucking Derrick Henry and a 92 break tackle Derrick Henry and the game's not even officially out for people is actually absurd. So just, just keep that in mind that this card can actually get, he's throwing this ball to the quick every single time and I get a nice KO there. I thought it was a little bit late, but we'll take it. He's going cover three. What we're going to do is actually shoot out. There's no way this is a run play, right? Oh, it was a run play. There, there was a real way that was a run play. I don't really have another choice right here. He's going to go inside Kyle Pitts probably. Oh, he wants a running back out of the backfield. Make a tackle, Brian Branch. Good job. Fourth and four. Seems he seems he has the flat. He goes inside. Oh, no KO. Damn, I should have pressed. I should have just pressed. Because normally I don't. I only run like one defensive, you know, one defensive formation in most games. Just kind of adjust off of it. And that was just a terrible run. D. Tony Pollard is doing that to us, bro. QB sneak, right? Probably what he goes to. No, goes full back. Dive up the middle. And we, he does get in. All right. We're going to just start Derrick Henry here. If we're going to tackle for loss, that would suck. But look at how light up front is with Steamroll. We should be able to get it going here real nice. Inside, outside, Steam. Okay, we cannot get, we cannot get going. I'm going to call a timeout. And uh, let's come out and tight. I may not run the ball with Derrick, but we are still going to give him an opportunity to make a play. We're still going to definitely do that. Let's go post here. Then we're going to go flat here. I kind of want to use Derrick Henry as like a clear out route. I don't know how well it's going to play for us. Uh, we got X check down. I tried throwing it. I, I, all right, streak easy E. We'll keep Hines where he's at on that little zig as a kind of a fail safe throw, but we'll see what we got here. Looks like it's definitely going to be something. I should have that over the top. Like, he shouldn't be able to get to that. Marvin Harrison Jr. comes down with it, and he dropped it. He made a football move, bro. I don't know, bro. I feel like I definitely should have played that. All right, let's try to get real chaotic here with Derek. No, because he's running cover three, so we should be able to get easy E open. Up the sidelines, that zone drops too far back. We, oh my god, unfortunate. Now we're gonna lose this game. I shouldn't have called fullback dive the first play. I should have just like this guy's just sitting in stock cover three. I wouldn't be able to throw my check downs. Wouldn't have to push the ball down the field so much. I and also the play call I called with the wheel route of Derrick Henry. Like I don't normally call that when I need a completion. Like I call that off of my main play out of tight. Like see that's what I mean. Like I'm selling. Like I'm trying to get Derrick Henry touches for no damn reason, bro. Like lock in. I oh, know we still got it. We still got it. All right, let's get rumbling, Derrick. Let's get rumbling, Derrick. That front looks so light, though, doesn't it? Derrick Henry, I got a broken... See, I, I don't think it's going to pop like Freight Train does. I feel like we should be just... I feel like we should be just running all over this guy. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I I, I think... Wait, I lost the X Factor? I need to tap... Wait, is it not tackle for loss? Is it, like, snaps or something like that? It might be if he snaps. Get out to Derrick. See, this, this, dude, this is not... This is not great. This is not great. Okay, 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 okay. That's all we need, making some hot routes. If I was using Matt Stafford right now, we'd, we would still be in the huddle. Here we go. Hut, hut. Derek Henry, I want to throw it to you, but we're going to take over the top right here. Possession catch by Heinz Ward. Okay, just lock in, bro. Haven't really had a good pop and run with Derek Henry yet. Oh, here we go. There it is. There it is. There's a good one. Ah, I tried air trucking. Oh, we're going to tackle for Derek. This is what I mean. With these power backs, if you can get them in this space, if you can get them going, I noticed this with Mike Allstott from the video on, was it Tuesday? Whenever I posted that video. Once you get big backs going, their weight just goes crazy. And Derek Henry is going to be the same thing. And not to mention, I don't even have the plus 10 stats on him right now. I don't at all. Up the middle. Oh, I should have went outside. And see, we got to get the momentum. The acceleration being on Derrick Henry, what it is, is makes things a little bit more difficult. I can't believe I actually sold that one drive, though. We, ha we had to get three or seven, and I folded like a chair, dude. Derrick Henry, full speed. We're going forward. Like, once you can get him to that third, fourth step, which is like real-life Derrick Henry. Real-life Derrick Henry on that fourth, fifth step, no one is stopping that, dude, bro. How many more runs till run commit happens? Derrick Henry, inside, outside. You're, you're just too little. Oh, my. What was that? What was that? Yo, what was that broken tackle, bro? Oh my. Derek, chill, bro. Be thinking I'm going left here. Up the middle. We should have a hole right there. Oh, he fumbled. Derek Henry fumbled. Oh my goodness, Derek Henry. Bro, I don't know who that was that hit Derek Henry, but they must have been real strong. I know I was kind of feed. I'm, I know we're feeding him, but I didn't even see it was low energy. I didn't see any huffing or puffing. Derek, this gotta be. If we can get Derek in the end zone and get his steamroller ability lit up for the second. Oh my, oh my god, dude, 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 dude. As much as I want to go swing here, I know it's not good for us. Honestly, I don't hate this play call. If we go single back, 
Nope, we go gun, we go go-go, and then we run the swing pass, the halfback swing. Oh, wait, it's not Derrick Henry. Do I, am I going to call a timeout so it's Derrick Henry? I'm going to call a timeout. I know that's so stupid to do. I know that's so dumb. And that, again, is one of the things I mentioned. This one, I feel like it's a no-brainer, right? I mean, we got to get Derrick Henry the ball here, right? Cut back in, Derrick. Air truck, and we're in. Okay, Derrick Henry touchdown. We're going to get our X Factor for the next drive if we have one. If not, we just lose the game. Sad violin, Derrick Henry. Sad violin. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> okay. It's only a matter of time. Boom. Boom. Very early. Okay. That was just a bad angle, but I'll take it. It's worth the risk. Two minute warning already here. I mean, he's got to get a touchdown, right? He's got to get a touchdown. So I'm not saying he can't do. I'm in, I'm in the hole. I'm back there. No, I'm not back there. You made him come back and he's looking at the. Okay. And I wasted a timeout too. Up the middle. Run. Hey, boom. No, rotate. Rotate the other way. Rotate the other way, dude. Boom. Okay. He, he's feeding his CMC. I, I, maybe, maybe I'm a boom away from a fumble. Like, I, should I start run committing? I'm scared to. Oh, goes to the short side. Quinnen's right there. Okay. Third and five. I'm not going to call timeouts. I'm not going to. I want him to be uncomfortable, like, from, like, the 25 with, like, 20 seconds left. That's my ideal scenario for this guy. He comes out and double now. I'm going to stay with my safety blitz. I think a run's coming. Yep, I was right. Inside, underneath. Goes jump over the middle. Fumble, fumble, fumble. No, no, no. I don't like. I don't love this defense right now that we're playing. I really don't like it. I don't love just running this sky with this four. Oh, let's, let's, let's go with a contain. Here's the game right here. Goes up, up the seam. He's got worthy. The KO. No, he's got worthy up the seam. Oh, God. Here we go. There's no way this dude's running the ball right now. There's just no way. And that, that stop before halftime really is just going to be the death of us, isn't it? I'm through. I'm through. I'm through. Leo Chanel. One tackle, Leo. Out of bounds. Stops the clock, which could be good for him or bad for him. I don't know. With the way you're, whichever way you look at it. If he scores, it's good for me. If he doesn't. I guess, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Lock in. Okay, I shouldn't have called this play. I should have, I gotta wait for him to call his offensive play and then I call my play. He likes that seam. Go screen. Okay, inbounds. Bro, why does this game gotta be so close, man? I am gonna go, I think I'm gonna go double mug and then play cover two, play the sticks. I think this is the play right now. Go short side. Boom. It's fourth and one. This is probably the last play of the game unless he goes with a run. If he comes out, if he comes out in that formation, I'm run committing. I don't care, I'm run committing. If he scores, we'll take the ball back. Well, he's gonna go wide side, you think? I'll, I'll trust him to go wide. Oh, he went, he went short side, shoot. Solo tackle, solo tackle! Let's go! Let's go, bro! The user tackle. On college football, that shit's not happening, bro. I'm missing that tackle, he's in the end zone. Let's go, bro. Easy dub, easy dub. All right, let's see if the auction house is still up. No, okay, nope, okay, yep, the, like, this is what we're dealing with right now on Madden. On Madden, this is what we're dealing with. This is what we're dealing with right now. Are they back up? Auction house? Stay tuned. Stay, stay tuned. That Hey, the auction house is on the way, boys. Stay tuned. If you guys do want to see what overall Derrick Henry boosts to, he is now an 88 overall with the Boom Strat card. I went and tossed it on him, and I'll just, just kind of show you what his stats look like. 97 trucking, 92 break tackle, but... Derek Henry's final review. I don't know what I don't know what price he is right now. I don't know what price he's gonna be. If you do want to buy this card, look out for him when the auction house comes back up because everyone who pulled Derek Henry is gonna be flooding the auction house immediately to sell him. But I don't know. I think this card can honestly maintain value. I'm gonna keep using him. I'll probably keep him tonight on stream. I, I probably will. But I think he played pretty good. I, I think definitely a top power back option, debatably. You know, the, of course there's the pros and cons of each. But I like Derek Henry, no complaints. Pretty pretty. Pretty much what I expected from a Derrick Henry card, you know what I mean?